Good morning. I have just gotten up, well, gotten up and gotten freshened up from my sleep because I was working evenings. And I have to tell you, last night, there was so much conversation about Donald Trump being released from the hospital that I had to get on and watch it for myself today. Now, full disclosure, I've seen little tidbits and have heard conversations. However, I haven't watched it myself and I would love to do a live reaction with you today as a nurse watching Donald Trump's comments about discharge, comments about COVID, and just really getting my first experience with those news releases. So let's get into that next. Welcome back, my name is Tammy and this is Nurse Minder and on this channel we do everything nursing. So if you're new here, consider subscribing below so that you get the next video when it's released. So here we are, I am Googling Trump released addresses COVID because that was what all the conversation was about yesterday and I see that there's a couple videos. One is 56 seconds and live updates after being at the White House. So let's look at this first one, Trump returns to White House. I'll show you what I'm looking at. He's coming out of the hospital there. He's got uh, pretty good lights on him, I'd say. He's walking okay. Tapping that railing as if he like, just wants to make sure it's there for him. He is wearing a mask. Ah. Lots of thumbs up, lots of just business as usual it looks like for him. Oh, look at his security guard take a step back there. I'm sure he's doing his job, but just in light of COVID, that was interesting. All right, so we're back at the White House now, and where is he? Oh, there he is on the stairs. He's climbing up the stairs, doing a good pace. He's not really seeming to pause at all, so it looks like he's in fairly decent shape at this point. Oh, here comes one of the moments people talked about last night where he takes his mask off and everybody was like, ah! But listen, masks don't need to be on unless you're within six feet of somebody. So it looks like he's alone up there. You can all just relax on the panic. Now, what's interesting here is he does seem to have a little bit of a... Uh, I don't study Trump. I don't study him. But just looking at him and how he's kind of smiling and taking a deep breath. You notice his chest will rise and his shoulders will hike. It looks like he's really trying to get some good air into his lungs there. So maybe not fully recovered. And let's be honest, this is going to take a little while to recover from. COVID is not like an overnight 24 hour flu. Um, as the leader of a country, he needs to be strong and needs to show you that he's going to be okay. That's how supporters are going to feel like it's safe to continue forward. He's putting on a pretty brave face there, I think. He's taken several breaths like between the clenched teeth as if to show he's smiling, but he's really taking some good breaths there. That is one of the videos I had was told I needed to watch is just to look and see at his breathing, but he managed those stairs beautifully. So, you know, it doesn't look like he's in imminent danger, but let's face it, it takes a lot of energy when you're not well, when you're not well, when you've not well, when you're not well, you know it, you know it, right? Comment below because I'm sure you've experienced this. When you don't feel well, it takes everything you've got just to get to the bathroom. And this man walked up those stairs and stood there for a very powerful, powerful moment. Now, I know there was a lot of criticism in the hospital last night among patients about him taking off his mask and this was his moment to really show what he learned from COVID. But you have to remember what the mask is for, and that's for close contact. So I'm not really concerned about the mask. I do want to find the other video where he actually talks about what he learned from COVID because I heard that's juicy. Let me see if I can find it. I got it. Trump says, don't be afraid of coronavirus after leaving the hospital. This is the video I was told I had to see. So I am... YouTube ad. Let me just mute that for a second. Here we I go. I just left Walter Reed Medical Center. And it's really something very special. The doctors, the nurses, the first responders. And I learned so much about coronavirus. And one thing that's for certain, don't let it dominate you. Don't be afraid of it. You're going to beat it. We have the best medical equipment. We have the best medicine. We're going to beat it. How many people have died in the United States? I actually was not expecting this at all. I mean, 
when they said it was juicy, I thought it was going to be kind of like, a, I realized the errors of my ways kind of thing, but interesting. Equipment, we have the best medicines, all developed recently. We have the best medicines. Now, if you watched my video you, two days ago when he was, when we had one of the, the um, physician briefs, we talked about remdesivir, the medication that is not approved by the FDA that is under emergency use only. So yeah, of course, we have the best medicines available, but they're not available to everybody, President Trump. I'm just gonna put that out there. And you're gonna beat it. I went, I didn't feel so good. And two days ago, I could have left two days ago. Two days ago, I felt great, like better than I have in a long time. I said just recently, better than 20 years ago. Hmm. Maybe remdesivir is better than, than the average drug. Maybe that's the fountain of youth. Don't let it dominate. Don't let it take over your lives. Don't let that happen. We're the greatest country in the world. We're going back. We're going back to work. We're going to be out front. As your leader, I had to do that. I knew there's danger to it, but I had to do it. I stood out front. I led. Nobody. I stood out front. I led. I had to do it. You did not fucking have to do it. What you needed to do was teach people that this was something to be serious about and to not mock at it and to not, oh man, like seriously, I just want to bang my head. I mean, everyone has their own view on what leadership is. And I have commended him for showing strength because his people need it, his country needs it, the world needs it. I mean, to be honest, I don't really like the man on a personal level, but I have to commend him for for doing that because, um, you know, I, rec I recognize and respect that. But come on, this is COVID. How many deaths have you had as a result of this? As a leader, you could have taken the evidence presented to you by your scientific committee, what the doctors were telling you, what the healthcare providers were begging for you to do. I mean, I remember watching a press briefing um, only because there was a nurse in it and it talked to, the nurse was saying how they were using their same N95 masks for weeks. And President Trump was quick to say, not everywhere. We don't have that problem everywhere. And just kind of shut that down and didn't even address the fact that they didn't have appropriate PPE. Come on now. Come on. Oh my goodness. They were right. I did need to watch this video. Nobody that's a leader would not do what I did. And I know there's a risk, there's a danger, but that's okay. And now I'm better and maybe I'm immune. I don't know. But don't let it dominate your lives. Get out there. Be careful. We have the best medicines in the world. And it all happened very shortly. And they're all getting approved. And the vaccines are coming momentarily. Momentarily. They're coming. Donald Trump, it doesn't happen that fast. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So people get out there. You know what that is? It's election time, people. He doesn't care about your health. He wants you to get out there and vote. And that is what this is about. I am not a political person by any stretch of the means, but I do hope the American people, yes, you. And I know there's going to be a lot of love and there's going to be a lot of hate in the comments and I'm all for it. As a Canadian watching the American politics, uh, let me tell you, even in my house, we're divided. We are divided about what we think about Donald Trump. I'm just going to say that and we'll leave it there. We're not talking about that anymore. Thank you very much. And Walter Reed, what a group of people. Thank you very much. Okay, so now this makes me think back to the president's, um, the brief that I did a video on a couple days ago when the doctor was like, I suggested oxygen. And I'm just watching this now and I'm thinking, I can totally see President Donald Trump as one of those patients who would refuse it based on the fact that he has an image to maintain, that he needs to present that he's strong. But I actually think watching this, these two videos, um, while he's not acute anymore, if he continues to push it, he will not recover quickly. He may be one of those people who ends up going back in the hospital because he's done too much. Now, Donald Trump, you need to heed the medical advice. I am not your physician, that is true. I am not your nurse, that is true. But, mmm, man, mmm, telling people not to fear it, telling people to get out there, back to work. I know the economy, sh people need to be back at work, but safely. Woo, doggy. That's a doozer. That is a doozer. I'm a little disappointed. I honestly thought that when everyone was talking about how he learned so much about coronavirus, experiential learning is sometimes our best teacher. 
and I really had hoped that he would come out and talk about the seriousness of this. However, seems it wasn't so serious for him. So for him, now this is a walk in the park. So enjoy your walk in the park and um, stay safe. Use your, use your um, noggin up here if you are in a community where it is ravaging your neighbors and the accounts are high. Take every precaution you can for yourself because Donald, President Donald Trump will not be at your funeral. You'll be at his. You'll all be watching it online, but he will not be at yours. Just putting that out there. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to continue to follow this because I don't think we're done with COVID and Donald Trump yet. Obviously, it's a campaign trail right now for our American friends. And I don't wish ill on anybody. I do wish that he uh, recovers and is able to continue on the work that God has put him on this earth to do. And let me tell you, I am not a religious person, but I am praying for you, America. Hey, I know you're probably not ready to get off your phone or go back to work just yet, or maybe even turn the lights off to go to sleep. So why don't you spend a little bit more time here watching another video?